Hey guys, Jonathan Graham here. Check out this new model I designed. This is my new star purse. You can see the back has a sort of octagonal shape to it. And it looks like a four point star. But if you open this up, this, it opens up, unfolds, and it's a little purse or like an envelope. You can put something in here and it folds flat. And this one I used a six inch square of this kind of iridized textured paper in purple. But for the tutorial, I'm going to use a 6-inch square as well, the same size, but I'm going to use a solid piece of Kami. And this is the size you get from a 6-inch square. And so here we go. To make the star purse, you want to start with your colored side up so that the star is colored. You're going to fold in half, diagonally in, in, in both directions. This model requires pre-creasing, as you will see. So we're going to fold in half, diagonally in both directions. And then we're going to also go in half the other way as well, horizontally and vertically. Okay. Next, we are going to do some folds. We're going to make a crease going from this point, and we're going to fold this up, and we're going to have this corner line up on this crease here, this vertical crease, and the crease that's going to be going this way, an angled crease, is going to end at the corner. So we're going to line up the corner, I'm first going to get it lined up on this point. And then we're going to pivot this so that the corner of the paper, this corner, is right on the vertical line. And then crease it really sharply so you can see how the crease starts at this corner. And this corner is right on the vertical line. Now we're going to unfold, and now we're going to do this on all four corners turn it going this way. So once again, fold this up, start the crease on the corner, and line up this crease on the vertical line. The vertical crease. Crease sharply. That's two corners. Rotate, third corner. Again, I like to start it at this corner and then line it up there. And one more, the fourth corner. This model requires, this is called pre-creasing. This is quite a bit of pre-creasing, so. But if you do it accurately, you'll get a nice star purse when you're finished. Now we're gonna unfold this one. And now we're gonna go, we went, I guess that was going this way. Now we're gonna make it going around the other way. And this one's a little bit easier since all we're gonna have, all we have to do is take this crease here, this edge, and just line it up along this crease that we already made. And then we'll automatically be in the right position. So, just like so. Unfold, again, bring this raw edge to the crease we just made. And you'll see we'll automatically have the in the same exact location as before with the corner on the center. Third side, line up the creases. And then once again, the crease we pre already made before, I'm just going to reinforce it a bit. we just take this one and bring it to this crease. And it'll automatically line it up for us. And now an infold. Now if you look carefully, it's a little hard to see with the green side. I'm going to turn it this way so you can see better. In the center we have this kind of octagon shape in the middle. That's going to be the bottom of the actual purse portion, which is right here. And so now we're going to do some more pre-creasing. We're going to start like this, the colored side up. And we're going to go on these creases right here, on the octagon. Bring this together. and lay this down to the collapse, sort of like a rabbit ear almost, to the right. We're going to unfold that one, rotate again to the same center. You'll see the two creases there will almost flat, collapse themselves. And then re-flatten the same location. Unfold and go to the next side of the square. Do the same. These are on pretty much existing creases. These are just for the change purse so it closes nice. And again, we're working on that octagon on the bottom. You can see those creases are on the two sides of this octagon. Now we're going to unfold. Now we're going to do we go in the same direction, but now we're going to do the corner. You can see we have creases here, the middle line, and we're going to have these creases. We're going to do almost like a rabbit ear fold. That's what we're actually what it is. And rabbit ear it. Same. We're going to keep going to the right, and then unfold it. Go to the next corner, do your rabbit ear, starting from the two corners. Those are all creases that are already there. And then this will make a new crease right here. Third corner, and we're almost 
done the pre-creasing and then comes the sort of fun part which is collapsing it. Third corner and your last rabbit ear all on existing creases right there and then just rabbit ear this over. Now, next, now we're going to get ready to collapse the model into the final shape. So what we're going to do is you can see we have this these triangles here and here. We're going to reinforce this crease as a mountain. These will keep as a valley. So this one is a mountain and this one's a mountain and that's a mountain. These will be valleys. Now we're going to collapse this. Now this is sort of a tricky step. You're going to just do this slowly and carefully. I like to pinch the corners and you can see the octagon in the center now a little better. We're going to sort of pinch around that octagonal center on the sides and I'm going to start collapsing this clockwise. And you can see these creases we made. I'm going to just gently start folding it in on all of these creases, sort of like pleats almost. And you'll see what's going to happen is once everything is in place, you keep twisting it and flattening it, and it'll just sort of snap into shape. And then I like to flatten it like this, and get it nice and flat. And that is the finished star purse. And now to open it, you may think by to open it by just pulling two of these flaps, but it doesn't really work. I guess you could, but I find it better if you look at the back here. You see there's these four little flaps here, 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 and here. And if you take two of the opposite flaps, just behind the star points here, and then pull it open, it'll open up very nicely for you. And then just simply push it back together. That is the star purse that I designed just recently. I hope you enjoyed it. It's really cool if you use like shiny paper like this, but it looks good with this as well. Hope you were able to make it. It, it was a little bit more challenging, but not too difficult. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Well, I guess you can kind of use it as a spinner too. And I will see you in my next video.